Hi, this is Neil from UseMyFrame.com and I'm going to show you the difference between transitions, photochromic lenses, and polarized lenses. Stick around. Watch this. Okay. The first one is a transition, the second one is a photochromic, and the third one on the far right is our polarized lens. In this case, it's brown. First thing I want you to notice is that these two are clear and that's because I'm indoors. When I step outside, which I will show you, these two will darken. This one will stay the same. You're polarized. These two are in the same category. This one is not. Now, your transition lenses are, if you notice on the box, that's actually the name brand of this lens. This lens is made by a different company, and even though they tint the same or very similar, they're, only this one is called transition, but they are both called photochromic. Does that make sense? The reason that's so is photochromic just means any type of lens that changes colors or darkens, and both of these do that. Only transition even though most people, when they mean photochromic lens, they say transition. I want a pair of transition lenses, they'll say. And what they mean is, I want a pair of lenses that gets dark in the sun. Well, that's actually a brand name. And whereas this one does the exact same thing, only it's a different name from a different company. It's like, you say, for example, people will say, hand me a Kleenex, right? Well, they'll hand them a tissue. It's not the name brand Kleenex, but they use it the same way. And that's what you have here. It's the same thing. There's no difference. Transition is just a specific brand of a photochromic lens. Okay? And then we have the polarized lens. And you notice that this lens is dark even though we're inside, whereas these two will darken once they... Uh, are in direct contact with the sun. Now, so then the question is, what's the difference between the two? Well, the difference is these are outdoor lenses, and that's what they're made for, but your photochromic lenses are for both. More specifically, your polarized lenses, one thing that's unique to polarized lenses is that it blocks all of the reflections that come in. You know how you might see um, real bright reflections off of snow, off of water, off of even other cars, things like that, shiny objects on the street. Well, the polarized lenses neutralizes all those reflections and, and that's actually one of the main benefits of polarized lenses and why people prefer polarized in sunglasses. Okay, I'm going to take these three lenses, I'm going to keep them in the same order, and now I'm going to take them outside. And I'm going to bring this with me so you get to see just what happens. The reason I do this is because this is a really common question. People aren't sure what the differences between these lenses are, and I thought it would be a really good way of explaining it. More than just explaining it, but showing it. So now I'm outside, it's a little, and the sun is starting to set, but that won't be a problem because you're going to see both of them are already starting to darken. You see that? And the brighter the sun, the, uh, the darker the lenses become. And when driving, it's essential that, uh, you know, a lot of people think, well, I'll get, I'll get photochromic lenses that darken in the sun and I'll use them for driving. Well, the problem that happens is that if you don't have direct sunlight on your lenses, then they're not gonna darken. Okay, now you see that? They are nice and dark. They will probably get a little darker. Um, but like I said, the sun is almost down. 
just so you get an idea of what we're looking like. And you see our polarized lens here on the right, it stayed dark the whole way. Now, I'm coming over here because remember I said that polarized lenses block reflections, right? Now you see the reflection I'm getting off that car right there? Let me back up a little bit. So I put it in front of this now, here is my transition. You still see the reflection right here. No difference. Here is my photo, or um, I'm sorry, my, or yeah, my photochromic lens. This was the one that was in the middle. Darkened in the sun, just like we say. And here is my polarized lens. Now watch what happens when I bring this in front. Ready? Boom. Without it, with it and you see how much of that reflection it just totally neutralizes it wipes it out and the um it's even more pronounced when you get around snow uh water stuff that's really blinding and so you know sometimes you get uh blinded as you're driving that's what polarized lenses do polarized lenses knock out that real bright light so you don't get blinded while driving or anything anything you're doing outdoors just for comparison i went and grabbed a uh, another one of these same photochromic lenses out of the box just so you could see the difference in the tint you see that we offer tints in gray and in brown and uh remember we are usemyframe.com and I hope this helps answer any questions you may have had about the difference between transitions, photochromics, and polarized lenses.